We're on the street here in this little town. Uh, how do you pronounce that name again? Calcutica. And uh, near here, some 40 miles away, you have a very important deposit. It's 2,800 feet up in the mountains. Uh, they fly in a helicopter. Uh, fly, actually, <laughs> fly in a helicopter. They go into the mountains, and once they've assessed where the boulder is, they fly in a diamond saw and slice it up in the mountains and then fly it out again in helicopter lifts of six and seven hundred pounds at a time. Are there different colors uh, to this uh, jade? Well, jade actually goes from white to black. Do you have samples of it here in your store? No, black is one of the rare shades and white is also. Well, let's go inside and look at some of the beautiful colors that I saw with you before lunchtime. Certainly. Dr. Rainey, here at uh, Wellington, at the Tasman Vaccine Laboratory, I understand that you are doing something for uh, the hospitals that makes it unnecessary for them to sterilize their packs the old wet way. That's so. We have a cobalt-60 source here of radioactive cobalt, and we use the gamma rays to sterilize disposable materials, dressing packs, and so on, uh, which have been pre-packed, packed in an impervious pack, and then sterilized. This would be a dressing pack, and these are some surgeon's gloves. Now, after you have performed this service, how long a shelf life would they have? Well, we say five years, but it would certainly be longer than that, an indefinite shelf life. And I notice a red spot on the package. That has a significance, does it? Yes, this indicates that it's been through the gamma plant. Uh, it goes from yellow to red, and this is an indication that the, the article has been sterilized. Well, let's go into the laboratory, or as you say, the laboratory, right. and see it change from orange to red.
Christine, uh, your forebears, the Maoris, had an opportunity of um, observing all these wonderful things. And uh, did they make any practical use of the uh, uh, hot water that's generated here? Yes, originally we had the holes in the ground with the steam coming out. And uh, we used to make use of it by putting our food straight into the hole and then it was cooked by the natural steam. Are you doing anything like that today? Yes, we still do it. At one of our thermal reserves we have it. And uh, here at Howells Gate we have a very elaborate system, but nevertheless still the Maori traditional method of cooking. Well, let's go and take a look at it. All right.